Hi everybody, my name's Jelly, and I thought it would be fun to do a vlog today instead of a blog just because I'm really excited about a new challenge I'm taking on. I just decided and it's it's kind of exciting. I mean, it's not earth shattering or anything, but it's fun. Uh, for anyone who doesn't follow along with my blog or, or any of the videos that I made, uh, I'll, I'll just give you a little snippet of background. Uh, for the past two and a half years, just over two and a half years, I've been dealing with, uh, working toward healing from a bout with Guillain-Barre syndrome that paralyzed my legs and it also affected my arms and my hands. So I've been mostly just concentrating on learning how to walk again over the past two and a half years and I went from hospital bedridden to a wheelchair to walker to uh, now I still walk with side sticks which are forearm crutches but uh, in concentrating on learning to walk again because that was kind of my most Im important part was getting mobile again I you know my hands for the most part came back but my left hand which is my strongest hand naturally still is having a little bit of a hard time. I can't control a pen. I can't, um, I can't, well, I can play my guitars, but not well. It's a struggle. It's, it's really become a struggle and guitars really been a big part of my life since I was eight. It's kind of the one, um, it's kind of the one thing that I could always fall back on if I was having problems trying to figure something out or whatever, I just sit down with my guitar and it, it just, the guitar really has always come very naturally to me. So I would just sit and, you know, the music would just kind of take me to a place where I could figure out what needed to be figured out. Right now I'm, I'm in the loft and it's my favorite room of the house. I love the loft. It's, it's a place, there's no TVs. It's just, relaxing and I can I can sit here by the fireplace and I can see out the garden doors on either side and it's just to the to nature behind and I love it and then here I always have a couple guitars up here and I I always have a couple guitars on my workshop where whenever I'm trying to figure something out or I just need some time to just kind of resettle my soul I sit down with my guitars and with my hand, my left hand not working properly, I was missing notes. I couldn't hold notes. I couldn't find notes. And it really got frustrating for me because something that has always come so easy, going backwards, and I know it's, it's, a, terrible, it's a terrible thing to say, really. It sounds really self-centered and really, I don't know, almost uppity that, well, I'm not going backwards. But... I just it's kind of with everything else that's going on in healing my heart just can't take that I have to fall backwards again with something different so instead of instead of forcing myself to keep working at something that's so disheartening I decided a brand new challenge would be fun so yesterday I went to see um, Enza's uncle, and Enza's uncle and his cousins own this beautiful, beautiful music store in town. So I went to see them, and they helped me pick out <laughs> this beautiful violin. I have never held a violin before this one in my life, but it's going to be awesome. So I'm just going to put the bow away for a second. Don't worry, I won't, I won't try and play it for, <laughs> for you. I will save your ears today. So Enza's uncle said, I mean, he said this one's going to last forever, really. I won't need to replace it unless I want to replace it. So I kind of went middle of the road. I really loved, I loved the way it felt. And mostly I chose it because of looks. It doesn't have a really high, high gloss. It's more of a sheen on it. And I really loved the darker, richer, kind of aged looking wood on it. It just, it felt more homey to me and it felt, it felt more like me. 
So I'm going to learn. And I'm a little bit intimidated because unlike the guitar, this does not have, you know, the frets and the the frets and the markings to show where the notes are. They kind of have to be you kind of have to know. So I'm going to have to learn. And I am going to take lessons because I don't want to start out with bad habits. I don't want to um, not know what I'm doing. I want to know the theory. I want to know everything. And I figure if I'm learning the theory and the playing slowly, maybe my fingers will be able to learn too. And I'll get more control over my fingers by by trying. So basically all I've all I've done so far is just tune. So I have my open G, my open D, open A, and open E. That's pretty much all I know so far. But it's going to be an adventure learning. And I'm really excited about learning, which is which is great because I I'm looking forward instead of being frustrated. I'm really 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 looking forward to this and I promised then that until I can play at least a little okay <laughs> I will not practice when he's home because he doesn't want to hear it anyhow <laughs> he's gonna be so sorry that he missed out on my coolness right from the beginning but whatever I don't know what kind of violin music I'm gonna love to play maybe I'll love to play the classical style maybe i'll love bluegrass fiddling maybe i'll love celtic fiddling who knows but i want to learn the proper the proper techniques so my next step is to find myself a teacher and to start learning and i'll probably update ooh, maybe weekly maybe bi-weekly and if you're trying something new, I'd love to hear about it too. So leave it in the comments or if you'd like to talk about it on the blog or whatever, do it. Because now's the time. It's seriously going to be fun. Anyhow, I just kind of really wanted to share and it's going to be a really cool experience. I hope you will follow along and I hope you'll take on your own new challenge too and, and share it with all of us because... Who doesn't love new challenges? Anyway, have fun. I'll be checking in and it'll be an adventure.